To start solving this problem, we're going to let d equal the number of dimes and q equal the number of quarters. The question indicates the variables that we need to use. In this case, we need to know how many of each coin we have. So we need two variables, d and q. We need to set up two equations. One will involve the number of coins, and the other will involve the value of the coins. We know the number of dimes plus the number of quarters has to equal our total number of coins. Our register only contains dimes and quarters, and it has a total number of 21 coins. So if we add the number of dimes d to the number of quarters q, we get 21. Here, the variables are taking the place of the numbers. We don't know the number of dimes, so we use d. And we don't know the number of quarters, so we use q. We know the total value of the coins is $2.70. A dime is worth 10 cents, so to get the value of dimes, we multiply 10 cents by the number of dimes we have. A quarter, on the other hand, is worth 25 cents, so to get the value of the quarters, we multiply 25 cents times our number of quarters, q. And if we add these two values together, we should get $2.70. I've rewritten the two equations down here, and now we can use either substitution or elimination to solve this problem. I'm going to use substitution since I can easily solve for one of the variables in this first equation. If we subtract q from both sides of this equation, we'll get d is equal to 21 minus q. Now that we have d solved for, we can perform substitution and plug in 21 minus q in for d in our second equation. Next, I distribute 1 tenth to 21 and negative q. I combine like terms. Next, I subtract 2 and 1 tenth from both sides. And finally, I divide both sides by 15 hundredths, and we get q is equal to 4. Q stood for the number of quarters, so we have 4 quarters. But I still need to find the number of dimes. I can use my first equation and plug in 4 for q to find the number of dimes, d. Solving for d, I get d is equal to 17. So we have 4 quarters in our register and 17 dimes. Let's go back to our original problem and make sure that this makes sense. We said we had 17 dimes and 4 quarters. Well, the total number of coins should be 21. And yes, those two add up to 21. So we know this first equation is true. One dime is worth 10 cents. So 17 dimes would be worth $1.70. One quarter is worth 25 cents. So four quarters would be worth $1. And with simple addition, we know that $1.70 and $1 add up to $2.70. So the second equation is true as well.